Hey, it's Kat and I'm here with Clayton Family Kitchen and I'm going to be making Mexican cornbread and strawberry pineapple punch. The ingredients are one box of corn muffin mix, one egg, a third cup milk, one roasted red pepper, one jalapeno, a quarter cup sweet onion, one half cup Fiesta blend cheese. So today I'm making Mexican cornbread. It's going along with our wedding um, thing we're kind of going with because we're getting into wedding season. And so I've made stuffed peppers as an appetizer kind of thing that you can serve at a wedding. So I'm going to make some Mexican cornbread to go with it. And this is really simple, easy, and is great for large crowds um, because it is so simple to make. So what I'm going to start out with is my onion. I have about a quarter of a sweet onion that I've already started chopping because I don't want to cry on film. And so I'm just going to give it one more chop across. I'm going to go ahead and put this in my bowl that the corn mix is going to go in. I'm also going to chop one jalapeno and make sure that you get all the seeds out. The jalapeno's heat is mostly the seeds and they are quite potent. So I try to make sure I get all of them. And cutting jalapenos is kind of like cutting onions. It just kind of bothers my eyes and my nose. So you gotta be really careful, gotta be kind of quick. I'm gonna rinse these off actually to get the rest of the seeds out. Cause you really don't want these left in there. Now I'm going to try to chop these pretty finely. You don't want big chunks of it. So I'm going to go across them first. And a couple of seeds were hiding. And then I'm going to go through and Chop them pretty finely. I love jalapenos, but I need it in small doses. They do have quite a bit of a kick. You don't need a lot. I actually recommend if you are going to be chopping a lot of jalapenos, use gloves because after touching this, don't touch your eye or your nose. <laughs> it will be on fire. Then I'm going to take my roasted pepper and I need to chop that up as well. You can find these near the pickles. Um, they usually keep them there at the grocery store. I really love these. I use them a lot. The pepper being roasted just adds a whole lot more flavor than them being just fresh. So I just take one out. Probably, this is a rather large one, so I'm probably only going to need half of it. So I'm going to put part of it back. So we're just going to kind of coarsely chop this up as well. And it should be pretty easy to chop after being in that liquid. Okay. 
So that's ready to go. I'm gonna take my onions back out of the bowl and put them back here until after I've mixed up the cornbread. So I am using a corn muffin mix. You can make cornbread from scratch, but I really love, I actually love the Jiffy corn mix. They make the sweet cornbread and it's just a really good mix, so I use it. And it's a shortcut. Save you a little time, especially if you are making this for a large crowd. It's always great to have time savers. Because when you're cooking for a lot of people, it's not always just about the cost, it's about the time, because you kinda need to find a balance of both. So I'm going to take one egg, add it to the corn muffin mix, and then one third cup of milk, I'm going to use a fork to mix it up to get all the lumps out. Start adding my ingredients. I'm gonna put in my jalapeno, which actually, for this amount of mix, I made that was a very large jalapeno, so I'm gonna leave some of that out. Just kind of eyeball it as far as adding the peppers and the onions, however much you want. The red pepper is pretty sweet, so it's not gonna to get too spicy. And then the onion. Put some of that in there as well. And it looks like I'm not going to need all of it. So I'm just gonna mix it all up. Now you can add cheese to this as well. Um, I would normally add it at this point, but I do have some friends, including my husband, who's lactose intolerant, so I'm going to leave it out. But I would normally put a quarter cup um, of the Fiesta blend cheese in it right now, and then when it's done, while it's still warm, put another quarter cup on top of it. So I'm gonna take my pan and make sure I spray it so it doesn't stick. And pour this in here. It'll cook in about 15, 20 minutes, maybe a little less, it just depends. You just wanna watch it. When it starts to brown, then it's ready. Actually, I'll put this up. Don't need it anymore. So we're gonna put this in the oven on 400 degrees. And I'm gonna set it for 15 minutes. So our cornbread should be done. Nice and golden brown on top. And I like cheese, so I'm gonna put cheese on half of it. My husband just can't eat that half. That's how I keep him from eating my food. I put things on it that either he doesn't like or he can't eat, so he can't steal it. And the cornbread is nice and hot, so this is going to melt quite quickly. And then I'll take a plate and get a piece 
piece. Cut a piece out. peppers and the onions in it and the cheese on top. This would also be good with a little bit of salsa and that is Mexican cornbread. Thank you for watching.